Tokyo in the morning rush hour. The Japanese capital's trains are jam-packed, bodies pressing against bodies. For some, these are the perfect conditions for chikan, or groping. I have been touched a lot of times around here, and most people I know have had the same experience. Using the airdrop smartphone function, this pervert sent me a picture of his thing. The chikan phenomenon has been part of Japanese pop culture for some time. Cartoon films showing schoolgirls as helpless groping victims have a large fan base in a country where some couples do not even dare to hold hands in public. Situations like this one, where a groper is chased, are rare. Most victims suffer in silence. Victims like Remon Katayama, who was sexually harassed as a schoolgirl in the train. She kept silent out of shame and because groping seemed socially acceptable for so long in Japan. She recently developed a program, the Chikan Radar, an early warning system to combat gropers. 40,000 have already registered. The feeling of powerlessness comes from the fact that gropers are perceived as being completely normal. It goes so far that the victims fear that the train will be stopped by their cry for help and that their fellow travelers will arrive late for work. Out of some kind of consideration, they prefer not to say anything. Kamaka Ogawa wants to change that. She was sexually harassed when she was at primary school. The blogger has written a book about her experiences and demands that women talk about theirs. I used to travel to school on the train with my male friends. Their experience of that environment was very different to mine. So I realized that men can really only understand the problem if we talk about it clearly. And that is what Ogawa does now. She takes us to an event of women who don't want to put up with it anymore. The flower demo takes place once a month. It's for people who have been victims of groping or who have experienced sexual violence. The demo is a very important place for us, a place where we gain hope and the feeling that our voices can change something. In Japan, a country where few are outspoken, these flower demos are almost a revolution. Some of the women talk about their worst experiences, and seeing that gives me the feeling that we are moving together. Until something changes in Japan, Kamaka Ogawa will be coming back here every month.